the most important day in the battle over Clayton County's bus line. Sir, you are an elected official and the people of Clayton County chose you to speak for them. We search for the commissioners who voted to end the service. We have serious issues here in Georgia that are not being addressed because of poor leadership. It's make or break day under the Gold Dome. The controversial bills that could hit the cutting room floor. The trout are loose. What the fish mean for the state and its economy. And just days after thousands of dollars were taken from a VFW post, a community is coming together to support our troops overseas. How you too can help. This is The Daily 11 at 7 with Brenda Wood. Hello and welcome to the Daily 11 at 7, the newscast that's totally interactive. There's a live chat going on right now at 11alive.com. And as always, we invite you to join in. Ask us your questions. Give us your thoughts. The chat will be running along the bottom of your screen. Now, we're out of the studio and here in the Information Center uh, for... Story number 11. We're talking about the crisis in our schools, and we're talking specifically with reporter Matt Pearl, who's been on this story today. As you've been seeing in newscast after newscast, our school districts in the metro Atlanta area facing huge budget crises right now, some of them nine-digit budget shortfalls uh, compared to last year's budget, and they're making some hard decisions about what to cut in the operations of their schools. Gwinnett uh, County, one of them, DeKalb, Cobb County, some more school districts facing real hard uh, uh, situations right now. Cobb County really in worse shape than they thought they were. That's right. Originally projected to be with $100 million worth of budget cuts. Now it's looking like it's closer to 137. We're going to get to them. I want to start with DeKalb because they just announced some news today. Their four-member budget committee adopting a tentative budget for the next fiscal year. And that budget isn't pretty. It's got $115 million worth of cuts. 427 layoffs and seven furloughs per teacher. The school board, of course, is still going to need to vote on this. Now back to Cobb, the school chief addressing their school board last night and saying that budget shortfall now $37 million worse than they thought. Superintendent Fred Sanderson talking about eliminating 100 buses and maybe shortening the school year. And Brenda, as you can imagine, that left quite a few employees pretty upset. Yeah, I'm sure mouths dropped to the floor. Now, the city of Atlanta uh, facing a budget shortfall as well, a seemingly mild, though, $67 million <laughs> shortfall. Why uh, are, are not those schools facing the massive cuts that these other districts are facing? Well, Atlanta is a, a bit of a unique district. They get federal funds because many of their students are in poor, underfunded areas, so they get some federal help for that. Uh, they also don't rely on state funds as much as the counties do. They get a little more help from property taxes. So again, they're certainly not out of the thick of it by any means. $67 million that they're trying to cut. They're talking about furloughing employees, increasing class size, and cutting budgets 10% across the board. So I mean, there's really, it's hard to find a district right, right. now that doesn't have these problems. Nobody's escaping yeah. it. All right, Matt, thanks very much. Yeah.